You're on an airplane, cruising at 35,000 feet. Out the window, the sky looks empty, just blue horizon and white clouds. But here's the twist. It's not empty at all. You're actually flying down a carefully mapped out highway in the sky, surrounded by thousands of other planes, each on its own invisible lane. No painted lines, no traffic lights, no stop signs, just a system so precise that it keeps millions of passengers safe every single day. And that's our big question. How do airplanes follow these invisible highways in the sky? Right here on History of Simple Things. Every journey begins before the wheels leave the ground. Pilots don't just take off and wing it, they file what's called a flight plan. Think of it as the GPS directions of the skies. This plan tells air traffic controllers exactly which routes, waypoints, and altitudes the plane will use to reach its destination. Waypoints are like invisible pins dropped in the sky. They're coordinates, not physical objects, but every pilot knows where they are. Airways are the connecting paths between those pins, highways without asphalt stretching across the atmosphere. From the moment the engines roar, that invisible road is already mapped out. The pilot just has to follow it. Now, who makes sure planes don't collide while traveling these invisible routes? That's the job of air traffic controllers. They're the human safety net behind the system, sitting in towers, control centers, and radar facilities around the world. Here's how it works. When a plane takes off, one controller guides it out of the airport's airspace. Then, like a baton in a relay race, responsibility gets passed to the next controller as the plane moves across regions. Each controller manages a chunk of sky, keeping every aircraft safely separated. To do that, they use radar screens, satellite tracking, and radio communication. They issue clear, precise instructions like, Climb and maintain flight level 350, which means hold altitude at 35,000 feet. The pilot repeats it back word for word. No shortcuts, no casual slang, just exact language, because precision keeps the system alive. Believe it or not, these invisible lanes weren't always so high tech. In the early days of aviation, Pilots navigated using ground-based beacons called VRs. Airways were built from beacon to beacon, almost like connecting lighthouses on land. It worked, but it meant routes were zigzagged and not always efficient. Then GPS arrived and everything changed. With satellites, planes could fly directly from one invisible waypoint to another without relying on beacons. This evolved into RNAV, or area navigation which allows straighter, more efficient routes. In short, the sky's highways went from winding back roads to direct expressways. But what about flying over oceans, where radar doesn't reach? This is where the system gets really clever. For long transatlantic and transpacific flights, air traffic uses something called organized track systems. These are invisible highways drawn fresh every single day. Why daily? Because they follow the jet streams, the massive rivers of fast-moving air high above Earth. By shifting these sky routes to match the winds, airlines save time and burn less fuel. It's like having a highway that moves to make your commute faster. The key to making this all work is separation. In the sky, there's no room for tailgating. Controllers keep airplanes apart both laterally and vertically. Standard separation is usually about 5 miles horizontally and 1,000 feet vertically. Think of it like lanes on a multi-level freeway. One plane might be cruising eastbound at 34,000 feet, while another passes westbound at 35,000 feet. They're close, but still perfectly safe. And here's something fascinating. Even when pilots can't see each other, the system ensures they'll never come closer than the rules allow. It's invisible, yet precise enough to keep steel giants moving safely through shared skies.
Behind the scenes, technology ties everything together. Traditional radar still plays a role, but newer systems like ADSB, Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, are revolutionizing tracking. With ADSB, airplanes constantly broadcast their position using GPS, and ground stations pick it up. Controllers and even other pilots can see exactly where each aircraft is in real time. It's like every plane is sharing its live location on a giant sky-wide map. This creates what some call the glass sky, where aircraft movements are transparent and predictable, drastically improving safety and efficiency. None of this works without communication. Pilots and controllers use a strict form of radio language called aviation phraseology. It's standardized worldwide, so a pilot flying in New York and another flying in Tokyo both use the same system of words and confirmations. Why so strict? Because miscommunication can be deadly. Every clearance, every altitude, every heading gets read back word for word. That's why when you hear pilots on the radio, they sound almost robotic. It's not a lack of personality, it's discipline. Air traffic control isn't just about routine, it's also about handling the unexpected. Storms can shut down routes, emergencies can force diversions, sudden congestion can cause delays. When that happens, controllers reroute planes like chess pieces, finding alternate lanes in the sky to keep traffic flowing. Pilots may be told to hold in circular patterns, like cars waiting at a roundabout until it's safe to continue. It's a real-time puzzle solved under pressure, with thousands of lives depending on the outcome. The system keeps evolving. Projects like NextGen in the US and CSAR in Europe aim to make air traffic more automated, relying on satellite tracking and digital data instead of voice-only communication. This will allow even more planes to share the same sky without compromising safety Imagine highways that not only shift daily with the winds, but also automatically reroute planes to the fastest, safest paths in real time. That's the future we're heading toward. So the next time you look out your airplane window and see nothing but open sky, remember, it's not empty. It's one of the busiest highways in the world, invisible to your eyes, but crystal clear to those who guide it. From the flight plans filed on the ground, to the controllers handing off planes like relay batons, to the satellites painting invisible lanes across the globe. This is how airplanes follow their sky highways. And without this invisible system, the skies wouldn't just be dangerous, they'd be chaos. Instead, they're a carefully choreographed dance, keeping millions of travelers safe all while soaring down highways we can't see but rely on every single day. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.